Today I'm going to be attempting something that has never been done before. An oiler's disc made entirely out of ice and I'm going to see if this even works. This ice rink that I made will serve like the mirror does. And this is the oiler's disc made entirely out of ice. This actually took a while to be able to do, and I needed to wait for a cold day. You've undoubtedly seen my Oilers disc video before. If not, please check that out. To make the ice Oilers discs, I filled small glass bowls with water and made more using a coffee cup experimenting with different sizes and put them in the freezer. I froze a pie pan full of water to make the spinning surface. I then carved out some of the ice to make it a little more concave, to make it similar to the mirror you spin an oiler's disc on. And now, for the first time in human history, an oiler's disc made entirely out of ice Spinning on ice. Well, this obviously isn't working out, so let's try something a little different. Okay, let's try it on the mirror. Do you think the results will be different? Let's see. As you could tell, it spun a little bit better on that mirror, but still, there's a heavy limitation to how good of a spin you're going to get out of those discs. The biggest reason is they're a lot lighter than the regular Euler's disc. As you probably remember from school, momentum is mass times speed. You're only going to be able to get so much inertia out of something when you spin it which means there's a limitation to how much inertia these discs are going to have. Also, there's the factor that it's very hard for them to stay in one place. You notice they kept jumping off the mirror. So this was a really cool experiment, even if it didn't go quite as good as I was hoping. I knew it wouldn't spin as long as the regular discs, but I thought that it would spin twice as long on the mirror as it did, and a little bit longer on the ice. Still, this is one of those fun experiments I'm glad I did. Thanks for watching this fun little experiment of mine. Feel free to suggest any other ones I could do. I love doing these types of experiments, doing things nobody else has done before. I love getting suggestions and I love trying out things nobody's ever thought to do before. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned a little something from it. But it was a very cool experiment. Pun totally intended.